Hey guys, Jesse Cantrell reporting from the Nintendo Developer Roundtable, featuring Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. A lot is about to go down. Let's take a look. President and CEO of the Pokemon Company, Tsunekazu Ishihara, began with a history of the Pokemon games, with a focus on the evolution of their connectivity features. Pokemon has always been about evolving alongside the hardware to better promote communication between players so they can enjoy the core elements of Pokemon, which are really collecting, battling, and trading. So we've really looked at this aspect of connectivity and communication as a really core aspect of the Pokemon series. Pokemon X and Y can really be considered kind of a, a culmination of all the elements and features that have made Pokemon so appealing over the years. We've brought them all into one place and evolved them. Mr. Ishihara then welcomed game director Junichi Masuda to the stage to discuss further. Pokemon has really began as an idea centered around communication. PSS is located on the bottom screen, the touch screen of the Nintendo 3DS, and it really provides a convenient location for all of the player's communication needs. So other players that are playing Pokemon X and Y will appear on the PSS in these little icon forms. So there's two methods that the PSS recognizes other players of X and Y. Followed by Mr. Masuda, live demoing a PSS battle. And we're showing off both of these Pokemon for the first time here at E3. So I'm just use Swords Dance move. Blood Bomb. So we move the camera around quite a bit in the battles. You can see this is one of the angles, kind of a split screen view showing off both of the Pokemon. And with the always connected Wi-Fi option, battling and trading has never been easier. Pokemon are going to be really crossing borders as they're sent into battle or being traded with, uh, you know, between the players. So these player connections are really going to expand on a global scale. Mr. Masuda also detailed the Pokemon series transition into 3D. So we decided to really adopt the official art style, which is done by our art director, Ken Sugimori, for the 3D models. So I'd like to use this Pokemon Noivern, which was first shown in this morning's Nintendo Direct, as an example. So the art design team at Game Freak begin by creating these setup sheets, which show the Pokemon from a variety of angles. And then we take this as a base and begin uh, the 3D modeling process. So we first, we create the 3D model here. Apply shading to the wireframe model. And then we apply some basic color textures and give it animations. I mean, like, this is actual what it looks like in the 3DS game. So in the Kalos region, when the player is traveling through it, they'll occasionally encounter a horde of five Pokemon to battle against. So we really developed this feature to kind of make the wild Pokemon encounters a bit more thrilling. So if you have a move that can attack all of the targets at once, it'll really help you win these battles. And when you're traveling through the Kalos region, you'll also occasionally run into trainers who will challenge you to a sky battle. So as you can see, the camera is really moving around dynamically. You have the bottom-up view where you're looking at it from the ground. Very powerful move. So as you can see, it's not just flying-type Pokemon that can participate in these sky battles, but Pokemon like Haunter here, who have the Levitate ability, can also join in. So I showed off some new ways to play in Pokemon X and Y. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the presentation. And finally, Mr. Ishihara returned to the stage for a Q&A section with attendees. Good evening. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit more information about the newly announced Fairy-type Pokemon. So when we first decided we wanted to introduce the Fairy-type, it was... It's actually the first time we're introducing a new type in 14 years, and we had tried to you know, keep the balance of all the types over the past 14 years, but as of right now, dragon, the dragon type is really kind of at an advantage. Why did you choose to base the world of Pokemon X and Y on France? France is one of you know, the many countries that really has a, you know, a focus on like, beauty, and beauty was really one of the themes that we had with Pokemon X and Y, so we wanted to kind of see how we could express you know, that beauty in the games. It's actually, we weren't supposed to talk about France being the inspiration for the region right now, but, <laughs> but you went ahead and said it, so. 